something extraordinary just showed up in our solar system. Again. A new image of the interstellar object known as 3i slash Atlas has left scientists completely baffled. Because what they've found challenges nearly everything we thought we knew about light, space, and the very laws of physics. Take a look at this. This faint, almost ghostly blur in the Martian sky was captured by the Mastcam Z camera aboard NASA's Perseverance rover. It might not look like much, but this smudge is history in the making. For the first time ever, we're seeing three I slash Atlas from this close of a distance. And what's hidden in that haze may completely rewrite our understanding of interstellar visitors. At first glance, it's just a faint dot beside a cluster of distant stars, each no brighter than magnitude 8. But astronomers analyzing the image quickly realized this wasn't just another comet. It was something behaving very differently. Another set of data from the same time frame showed something actually moving in the Martian sky, something that didn't belong there. Scientists are convinced it was 3i slash Atlas itself passing by. What makes this moment even more mysterious is that the image wasn't captured during the comet's closest approach, but a full day before that. NASA confirms that the true flyby could only be accurately recorded by orbiters circling Mars. But due to ongoing system delays, those close-up images haven't been released yet. Still, what Perseverance managed to capture from the surface was strange enough. As the comet neared Mars, the rover's instruments detected increased surface activity. Swirling dust devils, rising winds, and the early formation of a massive dust storm near the horizon. But even more puzzling, there was no visible tail. Most comets form a glowing trail of gas and ice as they approach sunlight. Yet three I slash Atlas seemed almost invisible. Only later, as it drew nearer to Mars, did scientists notice it starting to develop a thin, faint tail, far dimmer and narrower than any ever seen before. Unverified telescope data suggests that the object itself isn't spherical at all, but elongated, resembling the first known interstellar object, Oumuamua, more than the later visitor to I slash Borisov. When 3i slash Atlas passed close to Mars on October 3rd, it came within roughly 0.19 astronomical units. That's about 28 million kilometers away. Traveling at nearly 200,000 miles per hour, it's now speeding toward its closest point to the sun, the perihelion. But then, something really strange happened. Astronomers observed what looked like a coronal mass ejection a violent burst of plasma and energy from the Sun, interacting directly with the comet. Moments after this solar event, 3i slash Atlas suddenly vanished from our view. It wasn't destroyed. It just disappeared into the Sun's glare, its light behavior completely overwhelmed. And since Earth's orbital motion is now carrying us in the opposite direction, it'll be months before we get another clear look. But before it disappeared, Astronomers managed to record something so unexpected that it's left the scientific community stunned. When sunlight hits dust and gas in space, it scatters in every direction. But around 3, I slash Atlas, that scattered light behaved in a completely alien way. For the first time, scientists performed polarimetric observations on this interstellar visitor measuring how light waves align after bouncing off particles near it. Normally, comets in our solar system display a certain predictable polarization pattern. At smaller angles, light becomes negatively polarized. At larger ones, positively polarized. But when astronomers looked at 3i slash Atlas, the result was off the charts. Its negative polarization wasn't just stronger it was the strongest ever recorded from any comet. So strong, in fact, that it suggests the dust grains surrounding this object aren't like anything found in our solar system. They could be rougher, irregular, or made from materials that don't exist naturally here. To put it simply, 
This is the first interstellar object to ever show this kind of optical behavior. The numbers themselves are mind-blowing. The comet's polarization dipped to negative 2.77% at a phase angle of just 6.4 degrees, a phenomenon completely unprecedented in any known cometary body. What this means is that 3i slash Atlas may have formed under entirely different cosmic conditions, perhaps within a foreign star system or on the icy edge of our galaxy itself. Some researchers even believe it predates our own solar system by billions of years, making it one of the oldest and most mysterious travelers ever detected. But the mysteries don't end there. Recent chemical analysis revealed something else astonishing. The environment surrounding this interstellar visitor closely matches the atmospheric and surface composition of Mars itself. That's right, its chemical fingerprint looks Martian. This shocking similarity raises an even deeper question. Could this object have once been part of a planetary surface rather than a comet born from deep space ice? Could it be a fragment ejected from a world with Mars-like conditions now wandering the galaxy? Adding to the strangeness, astronomers noticed that 3i slash Atlas seemed to glow in unusual ways a shimmering light pattern that didn't behave like a natural reflection. Some suspect that as it nears the sun, it could vaporize rapidly or even split apart into multiple fragments. Even more confusingly, the comet is losing mass, releasing gases into space, but without changing its path. Normally, when comets shed material, the recoil slightly alters their trajectory, like a microthruster pushing them off course. But 3i slash Atlas moves perfectly steady, as if completely unaffected by the gases escaping from its body. That could mean it's immensely massive, dense enough that even jets of gas can't move it. Early estimates placed its mass at roughly a thousand times greater than any comet we've ever studied. Newer models suggest it could weigh over 33 billion tons. That's a mass so colossal it almost defies the idea of it being natural. And this leads to one of the most controversial theories among astronomers. If there isn't enough rocky material floating in interstellar space to create something this huge, then where did it come from? Astrophysicist Professor Avi Loeb, known for his bold theories about interstellar objects, has categorized the mysteries of 3i slash Atlas into two groups. In the first group are anomalies that might be explained with future data, like its unusual size, its faint anti-tail, a beam of scattered sunlight extending toward the sun instead of away from it, its strange chemistry, and its extreme light polarization. But in the second group are the details that may never be explained, mysteries that could remain unsolved forever. For example, 3i slash Atlas's trajectory is almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, the flat plane where all planets orbit the Sun within just five degrees. Statistically, that's highly improbable for an interstellar object. Then there's the timing of its arrival. It passed incredibly close to Mars, Venus and Jupiter, all within a narrow window of time. Coincidence? Maybe. But then came the strangest alignment of all. The direction from which 3i slash Atlas entered our solar system is within 9 degrees of the exact point in space where, back in 1977, scientists detected the famous WOW signal, a mysterious burst of radio waves that some once speculated might have been of extraterrestrial origin. Coincidence or cosmic connection? Professor Loeb believes anyone insisting that 3i slash Atlas is just another random space rock must be ready to explain every single one of these alignments through purely natural causes. Because as it stands, this object breaks every rule in the book. Is it a natural wanderer? A relic from before our solar system's birth? Or something else entirely? Until we get new data, all we can do is watch, wait, and wonder what secrets lie inside this ancient traveler now racing toward the sun. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.
And remember, space still holds more questions than answers.